Hello, people. Another beautiful day. Yup. Hope your five senses work. Health and strength is good. Or excellent. What? What's up, Steam Deck fans? Steam Deck tribe, nation, universe, world, legion. What's good? Mob, what's happening? Squad, what's up? Nerds, geeks, and freaks. And you investigators, what's happening? Batman. Yeah. On the Steam deck. Yeah. Got him Got him working. This little fella. Alright, you know I could sit here and just play this a little bit. But we got Linux 6.7 uh, kernel out. And it's a big one. And the Steam Deck benefits a whole lot. Huh. You're like, huh? Yeah, I know. Got to, got to keep you updated with the news, you know. <laughs> got to keep you updated with the news. All right, listen to this. Hmm. Let's see here. Hello, people. I hope you have another beautiful day. Yep. Hope your five senses work. Health and strength is good. Or excellent. What? All right. Now. Now for Linux 6.7 kernel. Listen to this. It says here Linux 6. Point, Linux kernel 6.7 officially released and it's a big one. Okay? It says here new Linux kernel has arrived. Linux kernel 6.7 release. Then it says a new year and an all new Linux kernel to help power it along. Yeah. Alright. And yes, the Steam Deck benefit, benefits from this a whole lot. It says here, uh, yes, the Linux 6.7 kernel is now officially released. And it's a hefty one packed with an assortment of new features, new hardware enablements, and more. It says by commit size alone, Linux 6.7 is one of the largest in recent history, an indicator of just how much effort has been poured into honing the latest release, says Linus Tor uh, Tor Torval. Uh, touches on this in his release announcement, writing, We had a little bit more going on last week compared to the holiday week before that, but certainly not enough to make me think we want to delay this any further. In result, 6.7 is in number of commits, over 17,000k non-merger commits, and with 1,000k plus merges, one of the largest kernel release we've ever had mm. yeah it says let's dive in into what's swelling out these commits what's new in Linux uh, 6.7 a list of new features and enhancements in Linux 6.7 okay here's the list experimental uh, BCAC uh, B, no, BCA chefs file system now in mainline kernel option to enable disable 32-bit emulation on x86 through 64 kernels. Intel Meteor Lake graphics support is now enabled by default. NVIDIA GPU system processor, GSP, not GPS, firmware supports. It says DP Alt Mode 2.1 support in USB Type-C drivers. AMD Seamless Boot now works with wider range of AMD hardware. Steam Deck. <laughs> it says F2F, F2FS now able to support Larger page size, BTRFS buffs include temporary file system ID support. Then it says App Armor access control to I/O during and creation of user namespace. Then it says KVM gain support for virtualization on Long Arch. Then it says KVM on Risk V support uh, SMS. Uh, uh, SMS TA uh, teen extension it says our uh, Rust binding for work queues upgrades to Rust 1.73 toolchain. Long list of improvement features add to perf tools. Hmm. This says H ancient video buff layer removed. Logitech HID plus plus tweaks. ASUS WMI driver adds screen pad support. All right. Now, and it says the BAC uh, BAC. Uh, CHEFE said to be shit safer than BTRFS, faster than ZFS. <laughs> and it says, um, part of the reason this kernel has 
seen a lot of commits is due to the addition of, then it says in parentheses, still somewhat experimental, says the BAC, our chefs. This bill itself as an advanced new file system for Linux with an emphasis on reliability, robustness, and a complete set of features, says there, uh, is said to offer several compen compelling lures versus exiting uh, dom uh, dominant uh, file system like extension 4, which is used by Ubuntu, including checksumming multi-devices. Functionality with a file system is said to be safer to use than BTRFS and faster than ZFS. Sounds like one to watch. Okay, subtopic, Valve helps level up BTRFS. One of the three new BTRFS features included in Linux 6.7, the addition of FSID, and it says in parentheses, temporary file system ID, will garner most interest. Igalia, uh, uh, Gilda Hermi, uh, uh, Pico works on this feature as the request of request of Valve who are looking to leverage it in their Linux based Steam OS on the who Steam Deck <clears throat> says here to quote uh, Gil Hermi FSID allows system with a slash B partitioning scheme like the Steam Deck console or various mobile devices to be a, to be able to hold the same file system image in both partitions Graphics game galore, another subtopic, says here, uh, NVIDIA GSP firmware is also a notable addition, as Pharonix says, it brings better power management and performance for GeForce RTX 20 and RTX 30 series hardware, then in parentheses it says again, when running proprietary firmware blobs, close parentheses, as well as RTX 40 acceleration in uh, no V uh, setups, Nice. Says there, uh, Intel Meteor Lake graphics supports in Linux 6.7 is now considered stable, which is great news. But as ever progress never stops, to this end, a glut of graphics uh, bring ups for Intel XC2 Lunar Lake integrated graphics ships in this release. Yeah. Okay. Another subtopic. Says here, Intel Itanium IA. Uh, six four support drops for now says here I can't imagine it going to affect any folks who read this site but the Linux 6.7 kernel drop support for the Intel Itanium IA64 architecture completely all codes has been removed from the kernel tree naturally some folks aren't happy about this Linus uh, Sanguin adding I'll be willing to resurrect Itanium support even though I personally despise the architecture with a passion for being a fundamentally based on faulty design premise and implementation based on pol pol politics <laughs> rather than good te technical design, but only if it turns out to actually have some long-term active interest. <laughs> then it says, for more detail on everything including in this Linux kernel release, I highly recommend shifting through no, no, sifting <laughs> through the comprehensive LWN merge windows summaries. We'll leave that link in the description box. Both of them. Says here, getting Linux 6.7. New Linux kernels aren't automatically packaged up and released to existing version of Ubuntu. For interim release, the kernel series includes, a, includes at release is the series it stays on. Ubuntu LTS release do get new Linux kernel, but those are back ports. Then it says in parentheses again, and since no Ubuntu release currently uses 6.7, there is nothing to back port from. Close parentheses. Says there you can install a new mainline Linux kernel in Ubuntu as well. And I will leave that link. It says uh, as Linux as well as Linux Mint and other Ubuntu based distribution using mainline kernel, kernel built. I will leave that link again. <laughs> Created by Ubuntu developers. Then it says in parentheses, though there is no uh, version 6.7 version at the time of writing, but it should appear soon. Then it says, however, 
Ubuntu mainline kernel builds aren't meant for us mere mortals to use, so come with no support, may lack kernel enablement, enablement slash patches carried by regular Ubuntu Linux kernel release have bugs or quirks and so on. So if you use them, do so with caution. And that is the end of the article. Yep. And we got one comment. And then some, I think MJ said this, a nice release and 6.8 is looking to be even bigger release. Do we have a chance that will be the kernel for Ubuntu 24.4, which comes out in April, by the way, release, or I think March, March or April. Any chance uh, BAC, uh, what, is, what do you say? Any chance BA, B, no, any chance BCACA, no, BCACHFE will be the default file system for Ubuntu 24.10. And that's the end of the article. So, uh, yeah. You Linux gamers, yeah, desktop, laptop, Steam Deck, oh yeah, you got 6.7 to deal with, indulge yourself, <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, um, Linux is moving, Valve is moving, oh yeah, and the Steam Deck looks good, so, 6.7 with FSR 3, Unreal Engine 5, oh yeah, we good, <laughs> so yeah, yeah, they came. They they came with a lot of. They came with a lot of uh, features, man. <laughs> Based on what I just read off, and um, yeah, uh, th uh, th these uh, these Linux uh, developers, man. Yeah, they're on it. You know, keeping up with the time, improving things, stability, reliability, everything. Yeah, within the Linux community. So, yeah, you guys indulge yourself, indulge yourself, and behave yourself too. Anyway. I'm going to leave this video for y'all to enjoy. Nice talking to you people again. Chris, still Star Wars and Star Trek. Thank you. Star Trek. Peace.